Hey, we're going to take a quick look at the uh, WDS 4.2 version Guadalcanal Naval Battles um, uh, upgrade and so forth. Um, I think I'll do Savo Island. So it is 0100 on the 9th of August in 42. The Marines have landed at Guadalcanal. The Japanese were not willing to give up the island out of fight. In particular, Admiral Makawa was ready to strike back. Uh, in the early morning, his cruiser force penetrated the pickets, operating outside Savo Island, and devastated the American uh, cruisers stationed in the channel. There were a lot of issues with people, uh, captains not using their radar to full effectiveness, etc. The loss suffered by the Americans would be one of the worst defeats, etc., uh, etc. Et so let's go forward with this. We'll play the Allies. I'll take a look at some of the improvements here. Looks like the um, ground graphics have improved a bit. And here we go. Now it's, it's going around better. Here's Canberra and Chicago. They look good. Um, new graphics. Improved background here, but this is where the improvements are, of course. Um, I think there's some new, um, there's some implied new, yeah, here we go. This is nice too. I don't, I think this is new. I uh, can't remember. I'll have to go look at the uh, change log. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's go look at that real quick. Let's go look. Where's sure your hands? Probably right in here. There we go. Okay, something happened there. There we go. So, Guadal. Correction Marine, uh, Midway and Wolfpack have been all upgraded. New ship and map graphics, new map views, adding four additional zoom levels. Okay, yeah, that definitely brings it in. You can here, you can even see that right here. I mean, this is this is, no, you couldn't get this close before. Before it was just um, the uh, blue and red um, ship markers, which was fine. It kind of had its own. Um, you know, kind of nostalgic feel to it as far as like just pushing across the board, but support for Drag 11, secondary gun changes, adding a secondary hit percentage value. Interesting. Okay, yeah, so it's not all just kind of scrunched into one um, dynamic. Um, new range finding tool. Yeah, 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 that's what I was just showing you. New current target indicating line on map during. Okay, so that's very similar somewhat to. Um, if you've ever played the um, Naval Warfare Simulations, um, if you ever played the old uh, the Steam and Iron games out of here, so um, which I love as well. Um, I'm a bit of a naval game addict. Um, let's see, da -da -da -da, a new Lua scripting engine to enhance AI performance. No new scripts. Yeah, so this is interesting. I'm wondering if this is accessible. Just to mention it, I'm wondering if it's accessible to um, third-party modifications. Uh, absolute heading added to range tool. Uh, okay. I kind of don't. Oh, meaning. Okay. That's a really nice tool, by the way. It says this, it kind of promotes, it promotes, um, let's see what we're doing. You'll see how far this is. That's the one thing sometimes this stuff. Let's see how this shit is here. Yeah. 
So that's pretty cool. You can kind of do formation checks and so forth. Right now we haven't. Uh, this is early Sabo. We haven't picked up anything yet. Um, these guys have their radar on, I hope. Okay. So, if I'm not mistaken, it's the magenta one, which is right about, should be in here. Oh, where the hell's the... I don't want no active. I thought she had. Yeah, well, they have radar. The green one, I think, is. So why is it not showing on? I don't have it suppressed. Here's the. Um, it's been a little bit since I played these. Uh, this is the primary gun range. This is the visible ability range that's I don't know if the two bands are like right on top of each other possibly right there um, I guess she doesn't have any secondaries which makes sense uh, let's go look at somebody with secondaries Canberra probably has secondaries yeah there's there's the secondaries okay so here, here's the um, looking from the HMAS Canberra <clears throat> the black is the primary gun range the Reddish is the secondary gun range. The uh, yellow is the visibility, which at this point, because you're 0100, it's not very far. Let's take a quick look. That's I love this range tool now. Uh, you can see that it's 10,000 yards. Um, I kind of think that's a little um, not being nice there. 10,000 is pretty pretty high for night. Um, Especially a 100 without too much. I guess there was a moon. Uh, maybe there does not even show somewhere. This is just overall, it's so much nicer. Um, I mean, I, I personally, I I didn't mind the um, kind of like more traditional, kind of like almost woodblock, um, you know, ship markers. It kind of had a, an appeal to it, but I think it had more of an appeal for some reason uh, when you're playing uh, Jotland. Or Shishima. Um, for some reason, just, I don't know why it kind of fit fit those games a little bit more. It's just kind of more of an older feel to it. Um, but this one in particular, I kind of started to feel the the need or want to have a little little bit more graphic. And and as you can see, it has all the most recent Critics Marine updates. Uh, I don't think there's necessarily too much. I mean, all the interfacing had been roughly the same. But, um, Let's take another look at the change log. Let's see. All messages are now on the main chart display. I don't necessarily remember that being an issue. Added support for PNG flight files. Oh, interesting. Okay. And that's why those looked a little better, I guess, right there. Those are nice. Um, interesting. Let's see if this bad boy has any, um, what was I trying to do? I think, uh, God, it's been a little bit since I've played these. Uh, let's see. Yeah, card on board. No, no spotting planes. I don't think any of these have any. I know the Japanese did, but we'll see. As a matter of fact, yeah, they had launched some and during... But what I'm not understanding is why do I not see a radar? Are they simulating that they were kind of like not turning? I mean, this is on. Uh, unless I'm just being an idiot, which is, it could, is it me or is it possibly the same exact range as the, is it just buried in that right there? Let me go look at a yellow on another one. Hmm. It does look a tiny bit different, right? There's a yellow there. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I think the radar is going out to the exact same range. That's why it's 
Okay, they might need to do something about that because I can't tell that. But but um, I don't know necessarily what they would do. Again, I've I've always I've always wanted them to put labels on these or at least make that a selectable thing because it never fails that you forget what which ones are which. Um, I mean, like just really small text or something would be fine. But um, this just for um, in case you haven't seen these in a while, uh, the cyan blue is the AAA uh, anti-air kind of range for their for their small caliber guns or smaller caliber guns. This these this is the range and arc for uh, torpedo attacks. I think most of these particular yeah, they do have torp, smoke, and death charge. So what you do when you try to do change between death charges, or you change, you can lay smoke by just putting put down, but let's see, it's right, not that. Active load, I think, sure, there you go, you see that? <clears throat> so you got port and starboard uh, Mark 15s, uh, there are eight on each side. I th think that's just, those are um, trackable um, mount tubes, um, and then def I haven't used that. Though. There aren't. I, I don't think they simulate subsurface in this one in particular. Um, the one I want to get Midway and Wolfpack eventually. Those are the only two I don't have. I have I have my own Jutland, Tsushima, uh, Guadal, and then I had gotten a review copy of Craig's Marine, um, which is a very good one by the way. Go get it, and um, we can play this out here. Let's. I just wanted to kind of walk through a little bit more of the change. Added minimum aircraft torpedo range. To added minimum aircraft torpedo range. Okay, I think that's an indicator. Oh, we're not going to be able to see that on this one. Um, maybe if I get my Craig's Marine working again, I can show that. But um, let's see. Look at markers are now mapped. Location markers are now mapped. Location markers are now map targets, meaning uh, meaning it might show up better there. They might have they might have done that because of my my article where it showed that I didn't see it. I, I hope I hope that's why. I'll, I'll ask them if they did that. All right. Um, I don't know if you saw any of my walkthroughs before or my articles on that, but added P hockey for packages. Oh, nice. Added B hockey for aircraft. Okay. Oh, well, you can hotkey the alternative interface. Let's go look at that. You hit I. Hey, there you go. Ooh, this, I don't know why, but this looks cleaner. I don't know if they kind of improved that. It does look a little cleaner. What is this showing me? Oh. The only thing, there's certain things about the, certain, sometimes it's good to flip over. I don't know what it is, but I'm just, it looks good. It's got some good looks to it. Um, I think this is more just in case you're. I don't know. Everything's here, but but I think I feel like I feel like I'd still almost rather have these as icons. But it's like everything is text. And it's just kind of. It's like you gotta find everything here. Everything here looks good, and I, I don't know, just the general layout is good. But I, I just I don't know why. I just I'm, I think it's just from my playing John Tiller games of, um, of the past that the and I, just, I'm just used to it. I kind of feel I, I feel like I feel like I'm playing a, a John Tiller software game, WDS game, if I'm in this mode. It's just the way it is. I, I, don't, I don't know why I got, I've just gotten, gotten so used to it. I'm kind of used to seeing what I'm clicking on coming up here and, and not having too much information. But then again, I've also kind of complained in the past that I, I wish I wish like, like hold on, let's go click on blue again. I wish when I clicked here, because I can't, I mean, just, oh, that's my, I can't, I can't even remember what some of these are. I mean, I know that that's the regular radar, but is this, uh, I can't even remember what the SC is, the, the, the yellow is. All right, so I have to look that up, but that's okay. You know what? Okay, let's go look. Um, let's go look and see if it mentions it. I don't know if they've. What I don't know is if they've 
included the, you know, like the improved, oh, yeah, they did. So there's that. You can measure the distance between the measure. I really like that. That's a, that's a really, really nice little tool. Okay, let's see the ship list. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it has the, there we go, that's a mine. You see, this is what I'm saying. Uh, Ah, ah, it was sonar. I'm sorry. And then what is... Oh, there we go. A radar. Next thing is a short script name. Oh, for the radar. On the, for the, okay, so it's... I don't know if it has a better SC. It's got an SC. Search and fire control. I, I don't know what they're saying there, but... A radar icon, you get the ship has a radar or has radar or radar detection and that the device is functional. Next to the icon is a short descriptive name. Okay, so, and again, let's go look at the range. So they did upgrade the user manual too, so that was, that was key. Okay. Let me see, where the heck is the range one again? Okay. Bear with, bear with. As you can see, it's a very detailed. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. the same here. Oh, there. That's a good thing to know. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's what they were talking about. With the location markers being a target. Where the heck is that damn... Range descriptor. I know there's a big. Oh god, are you kidding me? Hold on, let's look in the damn. There was a chart at one point. Here it is, there it is, right there. It was buried right here. The magenta circle shows the maximum range of any radar. And so that might be why. I don't know. Let's take a look at Taba. Uh, okay, all right, whatever. All right, let's get going. Let's see what's going on. This is probably going to get pretty loud here. I'm trying to speak up as I can do this. than they originally had, by the way. I think Kimber was in front originally. This is also a slightly improved form. Oop. Oh, cool. You can click from a point as well. That's neat. Alright. So we don't have any sightings yet, but so this is what I've always wondered. I wonder how this will simulate the radar detections potentially. So I know they're coming, right? So let's let's turn this bad boy around. I don't know if that's gonna help. I don't know if there was any. But all 
so it's probably a good half hour until they show up to a sword. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be depicted as such or not. But let's just cheat a bit, just from knowing the history. I know they're coming from there. This right about here is where they come. And they slip by blue. And then they come down here and kind of fire on here and then they get these guys un unknowingly I think I don't I mean there's a few ahistorical things here. I mean these guys are kind of more you know uh, doing like a square pattern search pattern and they were the one thing that this can't really simulate very well is you know the fact that they weren't um, they weren't ready either and the readiness level was not high they were definitely, of course, steaming, but... So much better looking. Just nice. So nice. And uh, I think I mentioned this during previous interviews with WDS, but... Um, just so smooth. Just, I mean, there's just something... Just, it, there's just something really nice about it. I don't, I don't know what it is. It's very appealing as a naval war game. Just, it's just nice and slow. And the turning is really nice. It's just really crisp. You know, it's, it's a simple game, but nice crisp graphics. Everything has a purpose. Only other thing I wish, and I think I was trying to say this before, is I wish you had overlay text for things here. Like, any symbol, I wish you could just do that. Because otherwise, you know, I'm an old man. I forget what everything is. And I also forget what the hell the damn rings are half the time. So, a, a small text indicator of what these are would be wonderful too. In 4.3. Thank you. Alright. Um, let's see if we run into anything. And let's go ahead and just get these bad boys together too while we're at it. Faster. Any, you know, these guys don't have torps. Oh, they got pretty good range. What's, what's unique about that? It's pretty, pretty significant range. Oh, I guess. Similar. Let's, while we're at it, it's like about 20, 20k yards. Hmm. That's the one thing, it's overly aggressive. Ones over there. My mouse not the game. So we got a cheat here. Uh, restore, restore a cheat. As I will point out. Uh, um, so the beauty of this game is we can. So here's the thing, I don't know if I got this for visibility or radar, you know, that that's another thing would be interesting to know if there was a dialogue of it. Uh, let's see if there's any, like, all game that happened. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Okay, let's see what I can do. So here's the thing. So historically, they did not radio one another as they were seeing things in the night. Um, also, one thing I'll point out is this is much earlier than historically. It's about a half hour later, but it, I think they wanted you to get going on it, I guess. But um, the... There is another scenario there that is that purposely sets it at 1.30 and kind of lets them get past the picket. Um, and I can't remember really why. I, I think, I, I, 
mean, it's not a directional radar, so I don't know why Blue had so much problems not doing its job as a kit. I can't remember. I got to look up. I got to reread the history. Some really, really good um, Navy, um, you know, uh, analysis of this battle and, and others for the Guadalcanal. Uh, campaign, Guadalcanal well, campaign, on a website that I'll I'll put it as a comment to this um, to this walkthrough. Um, just some really incredible, incredible um, resources for folks to want to do a campaign. Another really good resource is um, um, oh boy, uh, the General Quarters 3.3. I can't remember the company off the top of my head, but they have a good a good Guadalcanal um, naval campaign scenario book basically that includes like a pretty simple campaign system for Guadal that you can kind of alternatively uh, use with other rule systems which is really good for miniatures um, depicting this um, campaign etc uh, so I recommend that as well and of course I recommend general quarters in general uh, unintended and uh, of course um, uh, the ATG books uh, rules as well, as well as David Manley's books from uh, Long Face Games. I've not played his World War II um, miniatures game. It's one of the only ones I have. Um, let us see. Um, let's go for it. start will be to get the you know get the cruisers to get into a more of a single line battle or or maybe two columns and I want to try to combine the destroyers as much as humanly possible. These guys have started firing it looks like right there. We're not gonna do, be able to do much else. Their main job was of course to um, see them and report them. But let's see if I can I wonder if I can just let's see if I can just get these guys down. I don't think there's any death issues here. Mm, there are. Aha, there are. So, ooh, I think that is new. Ooh, that looks really good. I don't know if that's improved or not. Or, yeah, I think it might be the lettering is slightly improved. It's got like a, ooh, it just pops on there, doesn't it? That's nice. Really nice. I think that is an improvement. Um, ooh, that's nice. I'm gonna say that yet again. Ooh, all right, that's really nice. All right, so yeah, I might not want to do that too much. Not, I won't, shouldn't have a problem too much with these guys. Let's see. Is it mention my draft? Mm, does it mention my displacement anywhere? No. All right, I'll just avoid getting into that really bad part. Let's see, let's put this on, I guess. Because you probably want to avoid the, the white, I guess is right. You want to avoid very much. Northern Force, Southern Force. One of these guys show up as probably detached. Uh -huh. Let's go back to names.
That's pretty rough. Right, I think I'm gonna actually do this. What? Let's. We know they're there. We know they're coming down. So whatever. I will repeat history for you. And get annihilated. <clears throat> Let's catch this. Speed this bad. Always found that five speed is good if you want to do a quick game. Here we go, now we're getting it.
another thing that's really good is this speed marker. This really helps. I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, as you can see, you can kind of check the relative speeds of your ships as you're trying to make these like pseudo formations and so forth. So this is really nice. Let's take a look at how far we are. Yeah, love this range. Ooh. Oh, I think this is what they were talking about as far as automatically showing you the targets better. That's really nice too. There's just um, this is nice. This is nice. That's just nice little, just nice little, very small improvements that just are all adding up to quite an awesome game now. All right, so.
Mars are. This more torpedoes. Now, here's the one thing I will say is we probably shouldn't be able to fire that many torpedoes in succession in that short period of time. But that's... I'll take a to get it. I'm gonna create a new line here and start wailing in on these guys. If we get this guy. Yeah, he's got to be targeting properly. I'm gonna hit it. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> There's nothing I can do there. Get their revenge. <laughs> I mean, just a. That was crap. There's no wonder. <laughs> I was like, what the? Was like, oh my god, we got him. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? Holy crap, he snuck right into our asses, didn't he? I think that was historical, too. They came down that way, too. I forgot, totally forgot about that. I thought that was. I'll <laughs> tap up. Albert, sorry. I think we're gonna. <laughs> I don't know if we should pursue at this point. I really don't think so. I think we'll. I think we'll cut our losses at this point. Let's start. I've always found that five by is about right. It's quick, but at least once you're used to it, for some reason, for some reason, I can formulate the formations and such a little bit in my head better that way. Let's just start counting our losses here and just kind of be happy we only lost the one cruiser from that absolutely horrific torpedo. <laughs> Barrage. That was horrible. I couldn't do anything about it. Alright, we'll go back to the normal. Uh, no. okay. So you can get you can get pretty pretty accurate with your speed and so on. Only got the nineteen minutes here. I will speed up time. to the end. 
end here. I'm pretty sure they've broken off. I don't know, watch this crap. Watch I get like a barrage on my ass here. So under an hour, I just somewhat reversed Saba. So you're welcome. 